what in the world? Like, really, like, what is this creepy thing? Best known for its startling, vibrating, colored, and sometimes something paintings of Native Americans in the 1970s. This feature poem reflects his fascination with approaching new millennium. Yeah. Future Clown was featured in the 2010 movie Black Swan, a portion of which was filmed at the Native American, the Native Museum, or well, National Museum of America, India. So that's supposed to be a swan, but yeah, it's creepy. So, anyway, I am going to go into this one exhibit. And, um,. I never seen this one before, so I think it should be cool. It's called the walking stick. I'm not gonna do so much talking in here. I'm just gonna let you see what I see. Okay. So this is like an artistic, um, an artistic um, exhibit as far as paintings and such. Okay, <laughs> what does that look like, y'all? This is a erotic painting section. Very abstract like. Um, I don't know much about artistic stuff, but um, yeah, that's how that was all very erotic <laughs> to say the least. Ooh, this is cool. It's purple. Acrylic and ink on canvas. 
this is a TP farm, 1974. I like the color. This is another um, painting that makes you think. Marcus Dick brings to mind casual sexuality and this grouping of new bodies and suggests the title. Me and my neon box. Mm. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. No comments. Interesting. Okay, this next exhibit is called, it's a contemporary arts gallery. It's called the Great Inca Road, El Gran Camino Inca. So this is about South American folks. The Great Inca Road. Okay, I don't know much about that, but I'm sure I will learn quite a bit today. Ancestors, the beginnings of the road. Is still spoken today in the Andes. This is a ceremonial bowl, symbolize the waters of Lake Titicaca. You see that snake. that they are representing South American indigenous people in this exhibit, which is cool. That's a big old bow. <laughs> Inca vessel is a symbol of the Inca empire. They're found in every territory that the Inca conquered. The regional variations in decoration, the large and large used to store chicha, corn beer. Hmm. That's huge. This is, I think this one is called an Inca Arabala from Peru. 1450 to 1532 AD. Yeah. Wow. And he got other stuff going on over here. And this is cool. I'm glad I came upstairs because I thought that I seen it all, but obviously this is a changing exhibit. So they don't keep stuff here all the time. Ooh. And let's see what else they got. Read a kipu. Counting tools. Okay. And then this is... I don't know what this is. It's called an Inca kipu. 
This is from Peru. Same thing over here. And talking about the invasion. The Spanish came. All of that stuff over there. Linea Inca Women's Monta, Bolivia. This is around, this is a shawl and it's around the 16th and 17th century. This is a ritual vessel. It's a carved pacacha with the rainforest images around the 18th century. And this is a power horn from Bolivia, Amara, around 1880 and 1920 made of copper nickel alloy. And on and on and on. And now we're going to do the contemporary um, people celebrations. This is what's this called? The Quechua people throughout the Andes proudly cherish the Inca heritage. The most vivid survivals of this past are fest festivals and celebrations that blend Inca and Catholic traditions and fill towns, villages, and valleys with sound, movement, and color. That's interesting. A procession. So I guess they are representing royalty back in the day. Maybe they have direct ties to it. I don't know. I don't know how they would keep up with the family line and everything. Um, this is in broad a llama pectoral in Peru around 1920 and 1950. Okay. Obviously, this is in Spanish, so forgive me if I don't pronounce it right, even though I took two years of Spanish in high school. Still can't pronounce it right. <laughs> Ew, what is this? This is a, a modern staff with eagle eff effigy, Bolivia, and a Cachua authority staff in 1880, 1800s to 1960. The staff was, gift, was a gift of the national state of Bolivia. President Evo Morales presented on the occasion of his visit to the National Museum of the American Indian in 2008. Oh, at least they have it in English and not all in Spanish. That's cool. That's it. That's it. I don't even know what time it is. Anyway, at 2 o'clock I'll be over here making a bracelet out of beads. This is cool. That's cool. I'm assuming Navajo or Lakota? Yes, yeah, Lakota stuff. Artwork. Garments. Another view from the window. 
This is such a great museum. I love the architecture here. Okay. Oh yeah, here's the uh, schedule for today that I was telling you about. So I got here maybe like quarter to 11. I was able to catch the, the Choctaw social dance and the Choctaw song. I didn't stay, I didn't stay to um, uh, listen too much of that, but at 1.30, I will do, I will do all of this. And from 10 to 5, we're going to have all this going on. And I didn't see anything going on when I walked off around 11. Then the concert today is Lainey Edwards, Choctaw recording artist. So I'll be checking that out. And then obviously, I'll be making a beaded necklace. I thought it was a bracelet. But um, the recommended age is 8 years and up. So I'm part of the up crowd, like I said before. So you see the kids kind of like hanging out here, playing games, learning. This is such a great place for kids to learn um, how to weave and do bee work and stuff, and how to make baskets and stuff. So that's cool. That's pretty fun. So anyway, um, I see some empty chairs. That means that I could probably get a really good seat. And I don't know if I want to be too close because they might try to pull me in. You know what I mean. Um, I think I'm going to go up to, to the fourth floor now.